Welcome to September. This month we're looking at what's going on for you with your money in the beginning, middle, and end of the month. What is the theme for your money this month? Any potential new income sources coming through? Opportunities that you should consider? Actions to take to advance your career? What's going right and wrong with your current career path? And then you can also check out what's going on generally for you in the month of September in a separate set of videos. Hey Sagittarius, welcome to September. This is your money reading. And before we get started, they're kind of hijacking our reading here. And they're saying, hey, something that's hidden about this month is that you shouldn't get too caught up in the details. That may be something we put a lot of effort, time, energy, love into. It's time to move on to something bigger and better. You don't really have a choice at this point because it's not really working for you anymore. That's interesting. Now, for some of you, that is going to be a job, maybe a business that you started, and it's like, hey, let's take this, let's amend it, let's build something different. For some of you, that might even be a relationship that's kind of holding you back financially or um, somehow in regards to your career. Okay, so for everybody that might be a little bit different, which is why it's tough in a general reading, maybe a personal reading, if that's really hitting you hard, um, is more appropriate. But anyway, um, let's look at your general money vibe for the beginning of the month. My goodness, they have so much to say. Okay, they're saying, some of you in the beginning of the month might be like, oh man, this is hopeless. You might have lost your steam, your love, your passion, or maybe you're not very profitable right now. Things just aren't working out. And I think that's why they hijacked the reading in the beginning because they're like, hey, this is hitting hard for some of you, okay? Now, in the middle of the month, um, that's probably going to still be the situation. And then the end of the month, they're like, okay, fucking finally, some new ideas here. And how are we going to take those ideas and turn them into action coming into October? So maybe this is like a new idea of, hey, I got to go back to school or something like that. But like I said, for everybody, this might be a little bit different. So when we're feeling like junk surrounding our money and career in the beginning and middle of the month, how do we combat that? And they're like, this is about taking the steps that we've thought about to create better balance and kind of infinite possibilities for us. So it's not a complete loss. It's not a total disaster here. Um, it's about taking what we know and deciding to make that change for ourselves, okay? Now the overall money theme for you in the month of September is kindness. And they're saying you're a humanitarian, made of love. You're able to share that energy with others. And I happen to know that to be true about Sagittarius. You guys are so generous. And I notice um, with one of my best Sagittarius friends, she's tremendously generous. And as a result, people are tremendously generous with her. Um, sometimes they pay her double for a service just because they want to. And I think that's because this is the energy that she radiates. What you give out, you get back. You know, maybe not immediately but or from the same people you give it to, but it does come back to you universally. Um, so that being said, though, um, there was something else I wanted to mention with that. Oh, um, it's... So this idea, sorry, I had to trigger my own memory there. This idea about how we're going to shift things and change things is like maybe taking a path that is more in the service of other people um, as opposed to where you are. So maybe you're making an impact, you know, helping people in one way or in another in whatever it is that you do, but maybe um, to help them on a broader scale, on a more meaningful type of scale okay now uh what are potential new income sources for you and they're gonna, and they're saying you're never going to know unless you let go of this current income source or this current path and really find that focus for yourself so how do we get our memory or our ideas started like get those things kind of flowing in order to inspire us. And they say, unfortunately, what has to happen is we have to come into some sort of emotional imbalance because that's where change is made. You know, when horrible shit happens to us, which I'm not saying is going to happen to you, but that's when we realize, okay, holy moly, something needs to change and that's where those new ideas grow from. Um, the best art comes from the most painful experience. 
right? Um, the biggest, brightest, most profitable ideas come from some sort of growing pain. Um, you know, the biggest change makers in the world have witnessed or experienced something tragic and then they don't want that suffering to continue for other people and so they create something that benefits the world. And that's just kind of the way that the universe works, unfortunately. So the beginning and middle of this month might not be the most comfortable, but that's in order to get you to make the change that you have to make, in order to get you to start looking at different programs that you could enroll in to go to school or um, to change career path, you know, or to invent something that changes the world. Opportunities that you should be considering. Um, they're saying you already know. <laughs> okay. You've already heard about them. Um, actions to take in order to advance your path. Same thing. You already know. You already heard. Um, what's going right with your current career path? And they're saying that you're realizing that um, it's not working for you. And any pain that you're experiencing, any hardship that you're experiencing in your current career path is there to show you that, to teach you that, to force the change. What's going wrong? Um, that maybe you're not yet taking the actions. And so it's important that you do. Now, um, in the general readings, we're doing the spirituality modality that's going to be most useful for you, but I feel like that's actually something that's applicable and helpful in this situation. And they say hypnotism actually might be a good way to kind of get to that subconscious energy and figure it out. Because if you're like, what the fuck? I don't know. Deep within you, you actually do know. It's just buried in your subconscious. So um, if not, you might also want to try tarot for yourself. Um, get a reading from somebody you trust or maybe try reading cards for yourself. You can look at different options and say, okay, pros, cons, short-term outcome, long-term outcome until you figure it out. Or you can even do a spread like, Okay, what is it that I need to be doing in order to change the world? And they're, and they're saying, okay, well, you know, you're thinking about money first and foremost. And so is that helpful? They're like, no, that, that can't be the focus. Because whenever we're doing something that we truly love, that we feel is making a difference in the world, money's just going to flow to it. Because we're in this positive, loving vibration, okay? Um, but for a lot of you, it seems like you're going to have to go somewhere or do something. So that's like either moving somewhere or it could be, um, you know, changing jobs. And they're saying this is how you secure your long-term future. This is how you secure, you know, not only your own financial stability for the long term, your retirement, but the inheritance that you'll pass on to other people. Um, like whether that's children's, nephews, nieces, a cause, okay? So that's your money, and um, there will be further insight in your general reading for the month. I love you so much. Have the best September. Well, as best you can, considering you might be a little bit bummed. Love you! Thanks for getting all the way to the end of this video with me. Click here to sign up to win a free 20-minute video reading. Click here if you want to see the career and money video. And click here to subscribe.